Hello everybody. I thought I would show you my breakfast journal. I mentioned it in my last video and people seem to want to see it so I will show you. Sorry about my face. It looks a bit strange. Um, yes, so I'm going to show you it. It's not finished but I've done quite a bit. Um, maybe like a quarter of it. And um, it's been fun so let me know if you want to see more of these videos or maybe a one of me actually doing stuff in the journal okay <laughs> so um i'll show you the front cover first oh, i'll tell you about what it is first actually so um what it is is a book that i bought from waterstones for 8.99 um and it's by an author called kerry smith called Reckless Journal and she does a few different books. She's got one called This Isn't a Book which I've asked for for my birthday and some other ones and it was in the humour section so I couldn't find it at first but yeah that's where it was. Something in my eye. My eyeball. Okay so this is the cover. Inside it tells you things to do with the book so it gives you instructions on every page you don't have to follow the instructions or you can follow them like to the word to the letter um, or you can just interpret them how you want so one of the pages inside says decorate the front cover and um, back cover but I haven't done the back yet um, so what I've done to the front that button's about to fall off Um, yeah, I put some buttons on. So I had these buttons already in the house. They were actually my nana's. She had like a big tin of buttons. Um, so yeah, use that. So these like brown ones, and then down here we've got more colourful ones. And then I got a bit of magazine that I just wanted to stick on. I think it's from Neo magazine. It says something about vampiric gifts. And um, I also did some swirls and this is a bit of nail varnish. I haven't finished doing the cover yet so it's gonna continue. Um, this was also in the box with the buttons and I, I want to put one on the back as well so it makes like a clasp so you can actually close it at some point. And um, this is all wiggly, like around here on this hole because I burnt it on purpose, like I wanted it to look old. So I it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wanted the journal to kind of be part of me, like totally like show people what I'm like. Um, have my personality sort of thing. So this page, which is the very first page, it's like the inside cover, is covered in all my nail varnishes. <laughs> so it's got like the black ones, the crackle effect, the sparkly ones, blue, pink, it's a whole, um, green, And then I'm gonna I'm gonna cover every single page and something. Um, the first page where it tells you you have to do something I can't show you because it says um write your full name and everything, so I won't show you that one. But it gives you instructions, so it says carry this with you everywhere you go. Follow the instructions on every page. Order is not important. Instructions are open to interpretation. Experiment. Work against your better judgment. And it actually does make you do things that you wouldn't usually do at your book. I mean, um, yeah, I'll let you know in a minute. So it tells you a list of various materials you might need. And then the very first thing it says is add your page numbers. Um, so I started and I did like a couple but then I kind of gave up 
because I got bored so I wrote um, as many numbers as I could in Japanese so it's like ichi ni san yon goroku yana hachi kyushu and continued like phonetically written you know what I mean and I did that with pearl markers now this is the thing that I never ever do to books ever unless it's a book that I don't care about but if it's a one that I want to keep forever or if it's like my manga or a comic I never ever crack the spine and this is like the second thing it tells you to do in this book is crack a spine so that was like a really big challenge for me straight away <laughs> it totally stressed me out but I did do it and I'm glad I did it because it saved me leave this page blank on this I didn't I wrote a number three on it because I started writing page and um Um, this is one page that said tear out and crumple it but I want to stick it back in because it makes a nice sound and it feels nice this page says stand here wipe your feet jump up and down so I did but I need to do it again because my feet weren't very dirty I think I want to put my feet like my bare feet in acrylic paint and no I'm not doing a video of that but uh, yeah and stand on it I think that would look good Make it pretty. Pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. I don't drink coffee, so it was tea bags. So these are all tea baggy stains. And then I used ink to mess it up a bit more. Some spills here. Pour coals in this page using a pencil. This was also like a really hard thing to do because I just don't damage my books ever. So I just went for it like, like a psychopath. Um, I did it more to this page. I did like, and then I, I did a dot on every one and then used a pen to colour in the middle of it. Uh, this page I did when I was sitting in a cafe, just randomly doing this. It says draw fat lines and thin. So I used biro on this page. So some swirls. Then just normal lines. Um, battle lines and then I used the thick end of my pro markers so it was like mm. and um, I stuck some string down as well and then coloured that in using the pro markers This page is for hand prints or fingerprints. Get them dirty and press them down. Uh, I used ink on these two pages. So it's my hand. Um, I think that was really cool. Because at first I used like watercolour paint and tried to do it, but it didn't come out very well, so the ink did. Of this entire page, so I use my pro markers here, and then I bought um, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crayons because I saw them and had to get them. Um, so that's what this page is.
next page, throw something, a pen, uh, no, a pencil, a ball dipped in paint. Um, I tried tea bags, but it didn't look very pretty, so I'm going to use a ball dipped in acrylic paint, but I'll have to do it outside, otherwise it'll just be very messy. <laughs> haven't done that page yet. I'll show you the pages that I've done and then in another video I'll show you ones as I continue doing it. Scratch using a sharp object. I think I used scissors for this. Not, it's not really that exciting a page because there wasn't really that many options I could do with it. So I just went for it wildly. scribble wildly, violently, with reckless abandon. So I did. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Don't you think it looks really pretty? I used my biros and ball markers again. And this one. Then tear strips, rip it up. So this page is being ripped and I stuck some of them down so this one's like rolled up, can you see? And this one's half stuck down, some string on this one and use my fingertips to jab all around. And then this page had nothing on so I just put some string on. And then all these flecks are um, crayon. I got scissors and kind of scratched the crayon so that all these bits came off and then glued it to here. Oh, and the page underneath this said stick it to that one, so that's why that's stuck together. Um, fill this page with circles. I started where I was going to do these circles everywhere but then I wanted to add things and make things bigger so um, I did these with biro and then these with felt tips and then I used the lids of my acrylic paints to actually print these different circles here and then these buttons are circles and these washers and then I continued the circles onto this page with my Pro markers. <laughs> Chew on this, so I did. Let me see. Um, but I'm going to make it pretty as well. Write one word over and over. So I've started this, just writing the word imagination. So I wanted it to be something that meant something to me. And to me, the most important thing anyone can have is an imagination. Um, even if it's not like a wild imagination, just a little thought or something like that, a dream can make your day brighter and keep you going. I've started that. I'm going to fill both pages with that. Pick up the journal without using your hands. I've already done that, so I'm going to colour that page in and thing like this. I've started this one. Place sticky things here. Honey, gum, syrup, glue, sucker, marshmallow. This is just a bit of glue. So I think I'm going to stick things I find that are sticky on here. Not necessarily food, because that's a bit gross. Cover this page using only office supplies. So I've started that. I need to make a few things from work. <laughs> so I've got a paper clip, and I've purposefully just used sellotape to put them all down. Uh, the lid from a pen, and a little safety pen. Use this as a test page for pens, paints, markers or art supplies. 
So I've used watercolour paints, pro markers, um, crayons, by rose pencil. I'm going to use my acrylic paints around the outside as well. Drip something here. Ink, paint, tea. Close the book to make a print. Well, I didn't read this one properly. But I'm not gonna like fix it because that's how I interpreted it. So all I did was flick paint. I used um toothbrush and like an ink dropper and just a paintbrush that was like soaked and I just went for it so it's all pretty. I think it looks very pretty. But it feels like powdery because it's watercolours. So this is ink and then just watercolour paint. Oh, it looks quite art, doesn't it? <laughs> Trace the things in your bag or pockets. Let the lines overlap. So, <laughs> if you watch my last video, you'll know what this is. Uh, yeah. Um... So I have my key ring, my f no, no, that's my wallet, my phone, my keys, sunglasses, I'm not sure what this green one is. This is my favourite page, <laughs> well, one of my favourite pages. Make a sudden, destructive, unpredictable movement with the journal. So every time I come to this page I do it, like I do anything just to make it a bit more cool because it looks good that it's all like wacky. That button's gonna fall off. Okay. Let me find the next page. Oh. This was the first day I got it. Like I'd literally bought it five minutes ago and I went to the cafe and did the line page and then I did this bit. Happy. Hang the journal in a public place, invite people to draw here. So I didn't hang it, I just had it on the table and there was this girl sitting next to me who looked like like a film star, right? She was beautiful and her hair was all coiffed and everything. And I was sitting there like scribbling in this journal like a crazy person with like my superhero shoes on. <laughs> but I said, will you please draw in my journal? And she drew a smiley face. And a, it's like a smiley face so. So I thought that was so sweet, so I'm going to do that whenever I'm in like a coffee shop or a public place and just be like, can you write in my journal? Yes. Okay, so far this one is the favourite, my favourite page that I've done so far. It's all acrylic paint, so it's like 3D. Um, and it, the page did say use things that you wouldn't normally use to paint with so I used like a spoon and a knife and a little whisk thing and this is the effect it achieved. But yeah, that's my favourite page so far. Draw lines with your pen or pencil. Lick your finger and smear the lines. So I drew lines with pens and paints and felt tips. And I also wrote the word line. And then lick my finger and smudged it. Um, 
glue in a page from a magazine circle words that you like so I've glued in pages from Neo magazine um, this bit's in Japanese so I don't know what these words say I just thought it was pretty And then we've got a ring from Our Little Ecstasy. Um, and then I've got some words that I like. So, like the word film, soul, um, anime, manga, Japan. And then I circled some words here blood, vampire, awesome. Yes, so that's all I've done so far. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go out and buy one yourself. I'm not advertising or anything, it's just fun. Um, yeah, so, and I would also suggest not copying what other people have done, just let yourself think about what you want it to look like. If you want it to be nice and pristine, then you do it like that. If you want to cover every page in black marker pen, do it. It's up to you. Yes. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, that roleplay will probably be the next video that I do. Because it's just about ready to do. Um, there's just a couple of things that are really getting on my nerves. Because um, I don't have, like, proper editing software like I would love some really high tech editing software but I just can't afford it and like my backdrop isn't going to be what I want so I'm trying to figure out how to do that so yes um okay so thank you so much for watching um I will see you soon I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers what is up with that Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.